I'm going to show you my favorite ways to actually find outliers on YouTube. Now, I have a couple channels myself and help other people grow channels and have a lot of experience with this. And I can say finding outliers is one of the biggest needle movers when it comes to growth on YouTube. If you have the right idea, you can have the right audience and the video goes viral. So I'm going to show you five ones and none of them cost money. Although you can get a paid extension if you do want to actually get more out of some of them. So the first one that I actually have is called glow.ai. Now, this is one of the newer features that actually has like a built in AI feature to just show you all of the outliers through certain videos. All you want to do is you want to go to glowlabs.ai. It's the link and it'll bring you to this website right here where you simply want to log in. You actually can create an account without paying. It's completely free. And once you've actually logged in, we can go to the search bar down here called outlier database, where from here you simply want to go in. You can actually go into the search bar. It's basically a built in YouTube home feed and it'll show you all of only outliers versus like your YouTube feed that just whatever is accustomed to you on this website we're only seeing outliers you can see all of the thumbnails are shown very directly right here since this actually this website actually does have a built-in feature where you can build AI design thumbnails just creating with a snap like just by pasting your video link but you can see it'll give you a score this one has the 97 which means it's very close in an extreme outlier it has a hundred million views versus the six million view average which is actually diabolical and you can see this one has 98 when it's averaging 40,000 views and it has almost 2 million views so that's a big outlier and you can do this you can actually see their average views right here as well as how many views the video that's an outlier on this website actually has and you can actually do this for the search bar too let's just say I want to type in the London Bridge I don't know but when you type this in you can actually see it'll show us results that are outliers this one has 50 million views compared to the average of 500,000 views and it'll show us a bunch of these results just similar like so. So this is personally my favorite when it comes to finding outliers, but I'm going to show you a few other ones that come to the actual YouTube home feed. And the second one is actually called view stats. Now you might've heard of this from Mr. Beast. This is his extension. When it comes to analyzing channels, you can see like the data, how much they make roughly. It's not exactly accurate what their trending videos are. I'll show you how to do that. And just like view channel stats in general. So how you use this is the first feature is when you're on this, you can actually just type in view stats, Chrome extension. You have to have Chrome if you want view stats. But what you do is you click on top list right here in the top left hand corner and you can go to top channels or top videos like so. In this case, I want to go to top channels or top videos, I mean, and you can see the top videos the last seven days most viewed across entirety of YouTube and the most viewed last 28 days and however custom long period you actually want. And you can scroll through this list and you can actually click on any of these videos to actually see like how long it took this video to pop to go viral and pretty much every single video here is an outlier but you can see this one's pretty steady it went up at first and you can do this for all of the videos and you can even go to or search for any of these channels if we want to go to this guy's channel right here you can simply click on it and it'll bring you to channel analytics you can see how many views he's gotten in the last 28 days you can filter this too and we can even go into videos over here this is my favorite view stats feature you can actually filter it by trending 24 hour right here and when you click on this it'll show you their videos with the most views longs currently i'm on longs or you can go to shorts in the last 24 hours right here and all of these you can determine what's an outlier or not depending on how long ago it was actually posted this one right here was posted five months ago and is still getting 25,000 views every single day or at least in the last 24 hours so this is definitely an outlier and if we click on it we can actually see the retention like the view graph right here it, which has kind of died down but for long form you can really look at the view graph to see what like it just trending upwards towards or not. So view stats is my favorite tool. You can even search for your own channel like here. If you want to search for me, you can, and then you can click on it. You can actually view my channels, just typical data in general, as well as trending videos right here. So that's something really cool about this is you can just find trending videos just on direct channels and what's getting the most views in the last day for them. Another extension is called vidIQ. You've probably heard of this. I'm an avid user of this and I have actually bought in their subscription. You can use it without paying. There is a free version, but you can actually get an affiliate link. I'll link mine down below. You can get a dollar for 30 days. 
But basically what vidIQ is, is it's an extension that will show you all of the outliers if it goes to our YouTube homepage. You can see this one is 100x in outlier score, meaning it's like absolutely through the roof. Like it's, it does, outdoes everything, their subscribers, their average views, and just everything on their channel in general. And if we scroll down here, you can see this for all of the videos. Not all of them are 100. This one's about 10x the average, you could say, for that channel. And this one's 12x, so it's definitely good. And this one's 0x, meaning it didn't do any better than all of the videos typically posted on that channel. As you can see, this is just a cool feature. You can also do this for search. You want to type in swimming video or just whatever you want to search for. But you can see this one's 71x powered by vidIQ and it also shows you the views per hour. This one has 80,000 views per hour on average every single day since it's been posted, which is insane. But that's something cool you can see about this and it doesn't really show it for shorts. But what they do have for shorts is if we click on most of these videos, we can actually see the shorts views graph for all of these videos, which I think is pretty cool. You can also do this on view stats, but you can see it's pretty steady and consistent over time. And the next feature, the next tool we actually have have is called NextLev. NextLev YouTube Research Analysis. You can basically search this and add it on Chrome. And what it does is if we go to our YouTube home feed, you can see in the top left hand corner, if we click on filters, there's an option to actually filter your YouTube home feed. You can be logged out too if you actually do, do want to see stuff that's not accustomed to your current logged in stat. But you basically want to scroll down and load a ton of videos, click on filters, and then you can filter it by how many subscribers if you want the channel to have between one and let's just say 100,000 subscribers. And you want them to have how about a million views, million to two million, because that's the max. And then you click on go, and you can actually see these are all outliers right here. This one has 30,000 subscribers, a million views, million views, 40,000 subscribers. And you can see all of these just easy as that. And you can even do it for short shorts if you click it right here, but it's a little bit buggy when you click on shorts or just indirectly long form. And you can also do this for the search feature. If you just search for, let's just say swimming video again, you can actually click on this option when it does load in the top left hand corner. And as you can see, if we can basically click on this feature and you can filter this by how many subs you want or how many views you want them to have. So you can see more outliers. And yeah, that's just the one of the other extensions that you can use, which I use quite a bit. But honestly, my favorite extension is Glow AI. This is one of the relatively new ones. It doesn't cost any money and it just strictly only outliers, which is insane. And you can see the thumbnails that are working too and filter it by like when the video was posted and basically use this as like a YouTube search bar to see what is and what isn't working. So yeah, this is my favorite feature. And then view stats, I use a lot. They're trending videos feature, uh, just 24 hours if you go to videos after channel analytics. And we've also got NextLev. I really don't like NextLev a ton, but I use vidIQ just like to see the view graph over time as well as like the X, this one's 71X. But yeah, that's just, I guess, how you can find outliers on YouTube. And I use this, these all quite a bit. Yeah, give it a shot and let me know what you think in the comments if you've used any of these or if you plan to use any of these and why. Comment down below which one is your favorite and why. I would be really curious if you try any of them. Yeah. <laughs>